Hi, I'm Lori and I love books. And today I'm going to go over my first DVR for 2024. I decided this year I'm going to do bi-monthly DVR. So this was my January TBR and will also be my February TBR. And it is focused on spirituality, um, mainly Christian spirituality. Uh, the first thing is my journal for the year. Um, I got, uh, found this beautiful pink one that's uh, got a zippered cover. And then it has uh, really nice wide lines and then like little pieces of scripture at the bottom. And then that's the inside cover as well, the end pages. Um, so I'm planning on using a lot of pinks and reds in it as well. Uh, the next one I have is Whispers and Wildflowers, 30 Days to Slow Your Pace, Save Your Scripture and Draw Closer to God by Sarah Beth Marr. Um, I tried starting this in 2020 and then I had to go back to work and so I set it aside and didn't actually do it. I did like the first part, um, but it's like there's readings and then you can uh, answer questions to help you deepen your uh, connection with God. So I'm looking forward to that. It will probably take me more than 30 days, but I, I Hope I uh, learn a lot from that, and I hope it is as relaxing as it sounds. Uh, the next one I have um, is this little book I found used, and it's uh, called The Master of Mary of Burgundy. I'm, uh, I was attracted to the cover, and then inside it has all these beautiful um, biblical scenes illustrated and the writing my understanding is uh French and then in English it tells you about the plate and um apparently the master of Mary of Burgundy is an unknown artist uh that made a book for a private family and then it was given to another family and so certain things were changed in it so um, it is interesting. It isn't quite what I was expecting. I was thinking it would just be a translation of what was on the plates, uh, which it is not. Um, the next book I have um, is because last year, my last book I read was Miriam's Song uh, by Jill Eileen Smith. And I realized I had another book by her, The Prophetess. So I decided I wanted to read this as well because I loved that book so much. This one, I don't recognize uh, who it's about. Uh, but basically, she uh, is with her family. Then she gets sold into slavery. And then she becomes uh, um, a storyteller. Uh, no. Yeah, so she becomes a prophetess and can hear the voice of God. So I, I'm not really sure uh, about this. Uh, it, it's not clicking with any of my past knowledge of the Bible, but I haven't read every part of the Bible. So I'm looking forward to this. I'm expecting it to be just as beautiful as Miriam's song was. Uh, the last book I have is True Devotion to Mary with Preparation for Total Concentration. Um, and uh, it says this is like the... Uh, greatest single book of Marian spirituality ever written. So uh, that kind of sold me on it, and uh, I'm looking forward to it. I'm hoping to learn some things I don't already know. Excuse me one minute. Okay. And then the last one um, I'm, is not on my TBR yet, but it's just something I'm going to be doing after I'm done with the uh, 30 Days of Whispers and Wildflowers, and this was one of my Christmas gifts as well. So this is Everyday Calm, Peaceful Prompts for Twinkle Moments, and it's just got this gorgeous cover, and it's got like different pages for writing different kinds of things in it. So I'm looking forward to using this as well and decorating it with some more like cool colors. Uh, so that's what I have for today. Um, I hope you're having a wonderful 2024 new year and until next time, have a lovely time reading. Bye.